Hey everyone, welcome in. My name is Matt, Cryptic if you prefer. Today we're entering part three of our YouTube series on building the Halo ODST pistol prop. If you missed the last few videos, make sure you check out the linked playlist. Today we're going to focus on the muzzle of the pistol. We're going to build out every detail to match the concept art. So go ahead and open up your file and follow along. Remember, if you are just new to this series, the original video has the original blockout model, so you can start from there. And if you run into any snags during this or future videos, make sure you leave me a comment down below. I'll do my best to answer your questions and concerns. And as always, these videos take a lot of work, so if you could like and subscribe, I would greatly appreciate it. Now let's get into the tutorial. Okay, so today we're starting on the front muzzle of the pistol. There's a lot of work to be done here because this blocking is just not it. It's not there yet. So first things first, I'm going to save this. Same scene as. We're going to do muzzle. And again, I just like to do that because it gives me a point in time backup that I didn't have to worry about automatically working or not. So first things first, let's fix some of the shaping here because quite honestly, I'm not a huge fan of it. I don't know what happened here to cause this, but we're just gonna adjust a couple things. And then we'll start working on it. And we already have an issue there straighten this out and then we're gonna pull these up because this is technically the bottom of the slide that looks like it's a piece of the slide but it's a Picatinny rail so we'll worry about that in a minute here what I'm gonna do is just flatten this And then pull this forward. Okay. So I'm good there. I'm just trying to smooth out some of the some of the ickiness that we got going on here. I'm not sure what oh that's the okay. Just to make it look as clean as possible. Okay. Much better, much nicer. So, we're going to select this, show, isolate, view, select. All right, so, when we're looking at this design, first thing I'm noticing here, thankfully that's not a triangle. Um, this is just a little messy for my liking, so we'll, we'll end up cleaning that up quite a bit. But uh, first thing we have to think about is the slide goes into this thing. So, what I want to do, <laughs> is take potentially we're gonna just take this top portion we're not creating like a physically accurate prop here like we're not it's not gonna be like fully functional um but we do want it to look as good as possible so let's do this you selected okay just remove oh selected stuff i didn't need to Okay, so we've deleted those faces. We have this nice little uh, thing here. And we've got some goofiness going on. So, first things first, these two triangles, I want them gone. We're going to... Do this. Oops. Don't do that. We're going to bridge this. And again, the whole idea here is just to make sure that we're keeping quads. Which, so far, we're doing okay. All right. And then I'm going to see if it'll let me... Yeah, it'll let me do the whole shell. We're going to extrude this a little bit. And then just kind of adjust this. want this to be let's look at this see how this is working that's actually good okay so we like that so isolate view select oh cool awesome so we have our extruded face here and then we'll do it one more time 
Ooh, uh, maybe. Okay. Cool. And then I think this is where we're going to start working with the half of it. So we're just going to select half of this model. Say sayonara. Goodbye. All right. And then we're just going to start kind of cleaning this. All right, let's do this. So we're going to just extrude this. It's a bridge. All right, extrude this out. Pull it ahead. Keep it as level as possible. And we're going to bridge this. We're just working to kind of close this up a bit. And then thinking about how we want to connect this. So let's try this. I'm going to do a bridge. We're going to bridge it. And then one, two, three, four. That does, in fact, create a quad. So, we just add another bridge here. Get rid of the divisions. Boom. There we go. All right. So, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. What we're going to do then now is take this guy, extrude it inwards to give that model the depth that it needs. Delete that face. Okay, so we have our our slide area here. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of is the way this is kind of looking. So I'm just going to try to like... Compare it to the actual concept art. Or the model itself, anyway. Um, that's... Okay, I guess. Yeah. We're gonna have to do a little bit more, like, shaping there, but that's okay. So now the slide goes into the pistol. It sits in there nicely, so we don't have to really worry about any, like, clashing or any issues if you're deciding to 3D print this. We want to make sure it all fits together nicely. Alright, show, isolate, be selected. Okay. So, a couple of things that we're noticing here. We've got this like detail stack here, and let me pull up my concept art here. So we have these like vent hole things. Those are gonna be a little bit different because if you if you look at like a normal silencer, the way they're modeled and the way they're created, they're they're slanted. So we're gonna try to model that a little bit differently, make it look a little bit nicer. So let's focus on this for now. Vertex. I want to get these lined up with this as best as I can. Okay. Okay. And then we're going to have to add an edge loop because we don't have enough to work with here. Okay. I'm going to put that. Huh. All right. I don't know why it's doing that. All right. Just make sure that's flat. It looks a little not flat. I don't know why, but that's okay. So we're going to pull it in a bit. Actually, hold on. Let's scale it. Just a tad. So it's a little bit larger than what we're working with. And then we're going to pull it in. And then we're going to extract this mesh tool. Extract. Pull that out. Okay. Cool. And so what we're working with is we have four little inserts there. So 
So I'm going to pull this inward. Like that. The other thing I don't like is it's not thin enough. So we're going to thin it out a bit. There we go. That's good. The way we're gonna look at this. Firstly, let's get these straightened out. So we're gonna have these little vents. All right, so we have these vents here, so we're gonna actually extrude this face. And I'm doing this probably horribly wrong, but that's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, it still works just the same. Just a tad bit easier to do it this way. Okay, so we have our first sort of vent hole here. And we're gonna fix the, we'll fix the direction of this soon. So there are four of these. And then I'm gonna just delete this. We go here. We're going to control D, just slide it, and then we're gonna delete this. And this should link up just right for that. And we'll duplicate it. We'll duplicate it a couple more times. Modify center pivot. Control D. There's our four pieces. So we're going to modify center pivot. If you can never find your pivot, make sure you center it. We're actually going to combine all of these. Uh, mesh. Vertex. Link it. Link it. Link it. And link it. There we go. That's good. That's what we want. And just go through this entire process for the entire vent portion here. We'll come back through and fix those real quick. Combine. Okay. And the reason you're doing it this way is because it's going to allow you to keep even geometry. So like you're not changing anything. You're not like trying to guess pieces. We have our four vents there. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these because this is where we're gonna add a little bit of stylistic stuff. Just kind of bend them that way. Um, and then add an additional face. That way we have this nice build. And then delete this face because we don't need it. Alright, so now we just have to figure out how to get this merged back in. Because we've created a bunch of new edge loops. Which in all honesty, looking at this, we're only going to have to add three edge loops, so I'm going to go ahead and just do it. Save myself some time. I was a little misguided there. We actually had to add like five edge loops, but I'm still not super stressed about it. Just depends really. Okay, so mesh, we're gonna combine these. We're going to just kind of play with these loops when we get to them. Get that lined up. And again, this changed a little bit because we modeled, you know, a flat surface. 
whereas like the main body of our block out is not flat anymore. Uh, let's see. So we're going to merge that, merge that, merge that, merge that. We do have these two here that we need to figure out. Do that in a second here. these edges pulled over here. Cool. Pull these guys out just to kind of even that out as much as possible. I don't like how that's being pulled, so we're gonna pull that in. Pull that down a little bit just so we can kind of keep that even. Okay. So there we go, we have our vent. Aside from this issue, which we can correct here. And I'm just gonna do a simple extrude. And delete this face. Just merge these two points. like that. And we can still drag an angle through it, which is important. When I'm modeling, I tend to try to make sure that whatever it is I'm changing still allows me to drag an edge loop through it. Um, to me, it's just important to be able to do that. Okay, so the next process we're going to work on is we're going to work on this lower vent, which this lower vent, if we're looking at it, has one, two, three, four fins. So same as the top, just vertical. So we're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna go mesh tools. We're gonna do extract it, edit mesh extract. Hit world movement. Okay. Cool. So this is going to be a little bit funky. We're going to extrude it inward. Actually, this is going to be... Okay, so I'm going to extrude it out a little bit here. And then pull it in. And the reason I'm doing that is because I screwed up and I should have done that before I ripped it off. But no big deal, really. Just delete what we don't need. Okay, so this is where we've got to figure out how it is we're going to add these lines. We don't want to create too much extra geometry and we certainly don't want lines running through the model constantly. All right, mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. We're going to add an edge loop here. And then I'm kind of dealing with an issue here that I don't necessarily like. So let me do this. That's not flat at all. So we want to flatten the top of this. The bottom I think is pretty good. So let's just shore this up a bit. Okay. That's better. That was just going to bother me. We'll do the same thing with this line we just added because it's going to be incorrect. All right. So what I want to do is figure out how we're going to actually build these fins and not create too much geometry across this thing. 
these are obviously going to be extruded. what we got and then we're going to delete this delete this okay so this is what we're working with here we are trying to kind of clean this up and get everything linked up the way it needs to be so we're going to pull this in just to correct that now this will technically make a quad and so what we want is to just kind of pull this and we're going to just bridge this, remove that, and then what we've successfully done is we've created this thing and we've only added one inch loop. So now what we get to do, we're just going to completely delete the bottom of this. And move down the line. Uh, but what we're going to do we're going to leave that top bar there. And we're going to move this down. Just selecting the fin, basically. That's all we're worried about. That and the bottom portion. Because this is what's going to give us the, uh, the final shape. Okay. Let's just do duplicate. Just uh, drop it down. We only need one copy, and then we'll just, just make this easier on myself when we get to that point. Let's pull these down. Just to even those out. Whoa, wait a minute. No, oh, that's why. Alright, cool. Okay, pull D. Drop it. Drop it. Okay, so we got our four vents. Alright. So we're going to drag this up. Drag this up. And drag this up. We're going to combine all of these. Mesh. Combine. Vertex. And we're just going to go through and attach everything. And then we'll shore everything up. So that's good. Um, everything else. Oh, shoot. Alright, so I accidentally deleted some faces, so as long as you didn't, you're good to go. Uh, but that was my fault. Alright, so those are good. We're going to fix this real quick here. Bridge that. Just get rid of it. No divisions here. And then real quick, we're going to just extrude this guy and bridge and get rid of the divisions there. Okay. So three, modify. Looks like everything lined up for right. So we're good. We're going to save it. Save just in case, because you never know. And then what I want to do is just to keep the edge loops all clean and pretty looking. We're just going to scale everything, get them all straightened out, because we do have some curvature going on here. Just have less issues to deal with. Uh, the question is here. Make 
sure I've got everything selected that I want. We're just doing this to clean this up and make sure that it's, it looks like a mechanical piece, like an actual piece that you would find on a firearm. We're not looking to create unrealistic objects, so you don't want to have those little bends and bumps and stuff. Uh, this needs to be extruded because we missed a face here. So the other issue we have here is there's a little bit of a like drop and we can see it. So that's good. Okay. We're going to just line these up as best as possible to get rid of that weird dip that we're dealing with. Okay. So we have our solid piece. That looks pretty good. Not too, uh, not too worried about it. We're going to drop it in here. And it's going to be way smaller than it needs to be. So we're going to expand it a bit. Okay. So remember, we added edge loops. So there are some things that need to be changed here. We actually do need to get rid of this entire bottom shelf now that I'm looking at it. Delete. Okay. But overall, we only need to add three more edge loops, which is really not the end of the world. So we're going to merge these mesh, combine. that I extruded that inwards. We're just going to delete that because we don't need that. And we're going to merge these across. And we will clean that up after we're done. Okay, we don't have an edge loop for that one yet. Noticing. I see where I messed up here. Okay, so this is important to look at because we're trying to again maintain like edge loop. So by deleting that bottom piece, I actually built that bottom piece incorrectly in the first place because this needs to be extruded down. So we're going to do a minor extrude down. And we're going to link this vertex. This is going to allow us to just use one piece of geometry for this corner. So that's awesome. That's what we want. The lowest possible amount of polygons to work with. Okay, like that. Those two are good to go. Those two are good to go. Just going to get all these closed up. Just kind of even that up a bit there. Okay. All right. All right, so we got our vents added. We just need to add these last three edge loops. Which honestly, might be able to just 
kind of cheat this a little bit. It's just at one inch loop. That still maintains all of our quads. Terminates properly. And it looks a lot nicer. So I think for here, I'm going to just suck it up and do the edge loops. Because in the end, it doesn't really... It's not going to make a huge difference. Vertex... All right, so we've got that. We're starting to look pretty good. Everything's lining up really well. So the next thing we're gonna work on is this guy up here, this little uh, notch. So I don't know if they carry across the model, but I think they might, I don't really know. And I think I'm just gonna like flatten these out a bit. I just don't like the uh, weird curvature I'm getting there. So if we look at that as opposed to, okay. So, I'm gonna actually take all of this, put that there, try to just use what I have already. Cause I could tell that I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to create some sort of geometry here. Um, so I'm going to scale that, put that there, and then mesh tools, insert edge loop. We're going to add one right here. That way we've got that nice piece there. Okay. So now I can add these and I'm thinking I want them to go across the top. I don't know if they necessarily do. In fact, looking at this one. They didn't even add it in this one, so we're already adding more detail than that model. So the big thing we're going to do here is, again, we're going to do an extract. So mesh, extract, pull it out. And then for this one, instead of doing an extrusion, what I want to do is I'm just going to do this other tactic for, for getting what I want out of it which is I'll just draw the edge loops myself. And this is a good technique to remember if you're trying to uh, work with work with and keep quads. Edge. Delete those edges. Mesh tools. We're gonna do multi-cut. I've got my modeling toolkit over here too, which I'm not using, so sorry. All right, so we'll do that. You can also pre-cut it if you want to. And then just delete these edge loops. You can also use control delete. All right, and that maintains our, our actual, like what we're trying to do here. So, now we can kind of figure out what we need to do. So we've already got two of these. So that means we only need to add, in theory, one edge loop. Mesh tools, insert edge loop. So, boom. And these are already actually pretty even. Okay, there we go. That, uh, delete. Whoa, what is that? I don't know what that is. Okay. But it's okay. Alright, cool. So we're going to just fix this real quick. 
pretty good. And then we'll select this. We will duplicate. Turn that off. Slip it right across. already an edge loop there so we're not super worried about that pull that in pull that in sometimes when you're doing this one of the biggest issues that I run into is I just have to kind of think about a change that I just made to make sure what I did was actually gonna be like a functional thing or if I just screwed something up so we're just gonna merge these down Try to scoot that a bit. So we've got that. I want to do... Oh, look at that. Okay. Mesh tools. Delete edge vertex. I think I see what happened here. So when you delete those, make sure that they actually delete. Yeah, so I'm just missing a... Okay, mesh. Edit mesh, we're gonna just cut it. Sorry. Mesh tools. Boom, and boom. Enter. That still gives us the quad that we were looking for. And then what we can do is we can do control, let's see. Uh, modify center pivot. Control D. Uh, not the Z, we're working in the X. Just do that. Gives us exactly what we're looking for. Mesh, combine, and then sew this puppy up. And so now what we get to do, because all we did was we just created the panel itself. So we're gonna take this, we're gonna go boom, 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 boom. Select all these guys and we're gonna pull them in ever so slightly. Because looking at it, they don't really drop all that far in. In fact, what I think I'm gonna do is drop this, pull that in. Okay, so that's pretty good, that's what we want. We're going to bevel the interior of this. why that happened oh I see all right we're gonna bevel the interior just a little bit not a lot and now we have this great piece that we just get to slip right back into place and just kind of fit everything back together All right, so I like that. It looks good. I'm going to combine these mesh, combine, and then we're going to go and start connecting everything. Again, I do this in kind of a manual way. You don't have to do it this way. You can find automa automatic ways to do it, automated ways to do this. Um, I'm noticing that this edge loop was, let me see. We do have an extra edge loop. I'd like to maintain that. I think I'm gonna just keep it.
Okay. Cool. And then link that. And there we go. We've got that nice little portion up there. Again, not super sure if it goes all the way down or not. Actually, it looks like it kind of goes down a little bit too far on ours, but it's scaled with the actual design, so not super worried about it. Um, but those were kind of the most complicated parts of this entire build. Now we just have to add some pins. So let's mark out where we have pins. So here's a pin. So what we want to do here is pull this, I'm going to pull this face forward. That way we don't have to work with too much. Whoa, wait a minute. Hmm. Okay, so we have a bit of an issue here. And I didn't see that before necessarily, but now I'm seeing it. Okay, so I don't like what I have going on here anymore. This is no longer serving the purpose of that I needed it to. So we're gonna vertex, we're gonna link these together. Whoa. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna keep this the way we want it. We're gonna actually lower that. This is an end gone though. Where is it? We're going to bridge this, get rid of that, and then bridge this, get rid of that. Okay, so now we've got this more cohesive piece. And again, as you're modeling this, if you find something that I've done that you don't like, fix it yourself. Uh, let me know what it is you find. That way I can kind of research it myself and figure out what was what changed and what should have been fixed. Mesh tool sensor. That should have actually resolved the issue. It, it did create a solid loop, which is nice. Uh, but it's also looping around when it really shouldn't be. And I think that's because of the way I have this set up. So I'm going to go through this. I'm going to go through this and fix this real quick. Just because I don't like it. Gonna delete that. We're going to. And this should be a relatively quick fix. I'm not super stressed about that. Oh, I was gonna say I don't know why that gave me an error. All right, edge, edge, bridge. Okay, so we have that nice bridge there, and then we can do another bridge. Or we can do another extrusion anyway. And we're gonna link this to that, which this will link up perfectly. Cool. And then the other problem we have here is there's no edge loop going across there. So mesh tools. This should, okay, so this is gonna do what I want it to do now. Perfect, okay. So now we can take this, remove that. This whole process really requires you to sit and like actually think about what it is you're doing and what it is you're adding because if you're not actually kind of planning, you're gonna cause issues for yourself down the line every single time, just like I just did. Um, I didn't plan well enough, and I caused an issue for myself. Okay. Cool. So we got that. That's fixed. Now we can do what I wanted to do, which was add the little bolt. Uh, and this is actually going to be a lot simpler now. 
is all I have to do is pull this forward. And then I'm just going to take this. I'm going to extrude it in. We're going to get it right above that bolt. Mesh tools, insert edge loop. All right, mesh, edit mesh, mesh tools. We're going to do a multi-cut right through the center of this. Enter, Q. I'm going to take these. I'm going to circularize them. Just rotate it so it better fits the geometry there. And that kind of fits what we're doing. I'm going to pull that in. have that so we have our first little pin and then we've got three in a row here those are gonna be screws so that's gonna be kind of difficult I think what I'm gonna end up doing is I'll use a texture for those the let's add the one up here face so we've got our face we're going to pull it in Mesh tools we're going to multi-cut it go all the way through we're still maintaining quads by doing this process we're going to circularize that there it is. not a huge fan of the way that looks but it should be okay Okay, so we have two more pins. <clears throat> Those have been added. We've got one on the front over here to add. Pull that back a bit. Pull that in. Okay, same process here. Multi-cut. The whole goal is to not have edge loops running completely through your model, so. We're doing pretty good with this, I think. Uh, I'm do circularize. It's the best tool ever. Okay. got our pins and then all that's left to do honestly here is going to be these three down here which is going to be its own challenge and then final detailing uh, as well as making the barrel we're gonna we're gonna make a quick barrel here let's fix that too this to, there we go. Okay, we'll leave that. 
All right, cool. So let's figure out how we're gonna do these bottom circles. So these are what we're dealing with here. And this is our, this is kind of our mesh. So we've got this guy. We're gonna pull that in. We're gonna pull this one in. And this may be a horrible way to do this, but we're gonna just try it, see what happens. Uh, I do wanna, so this is, this is where I'm gonna have to spend a little bit of time actually like pre-planning. Like I know this isn't gonna be what it looks like, but I wanna see if A, this is gonna work, and B, if I like the way it looks. So I also don't like that they did that. That doesn't make any sense, right? Because we've got this, we've got this supposed piece I'm trying to think how I want to do this because I honestly don't like the way that looks because looking at the concept art these two merge together because it's just a texture so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to pre-circularize these so let's see edit mesh Mesh tools, we're going to multi-cut this right down the middle. And same thing here. Nope. Oh. Same thing here. We're gonna take these faces, circularize, rotate it. I'm gonna do the same thing, rotate. We're going to try to keep these as even as possible. Because I want them to be... I want them to be kind of cohesive. Um, I'm going to pull this one in. So I prefer that. Okay. And these are going to get a little bit more geometry just because these are end up these are going to end up being like textures. So now we need to do because this can be circularized once we cut it enter cube escape vertex uh, let's see circularize it's gonna make it way too big it's also gonna jack everything up so let's pull this here we're gonna try to, so this is a bigger piece for sure. What I wanna do, I do wanna get these as like close to possible, but I also have to be realistic with the fact that that was, that's a texture. do just keep this as clean as possible that's kind of the goal here is we're just trying to make sure that we keep this as clean looking as possible okay with that topology wise it looks okay they're still all quads it might give us a little bit of an issue smoothing but we will correct that if we need to
This one has kind of like a weird bevel to it already. So whatever it is, it's been added. So that's it, that's what we got. Um, I did this differently just because I don't think having them that close together is gonna work. We have all of our pins. Again, I said in the original tutorial that I'm going to be doing uh, any text on this thing as a texture. And then for the 3D printed version, I will make the text and then just Boolean it out so I don't have to really deal with like edge flow or anything. But the initial model, I want it to be, you know, nice. So now what we got to deal with, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go modify. We're going to actually, we're going to delete by type. We're going to history. Just clear that history. Uh, it's going to make it easier to work with this model in the long run. Okay, so we're going to go to mesh. We're going to go mirror. We are working in Z, so apply. Nice. Okay, we're looking good there. Show, isolate, view selected. Okay. Beautiful. I'm honestly really liking that. So the next thing we want to do is I'm just going to extrude it in further. Uh, I just don't want to see it with the barrel that I'm going to add in here. So the last, some of the last parts we're going to do here is we're going to create a cylinder. We're going to rotate it in the Z90. Pull it up. Pull it through. Let's look at our front face. Get it kind of even with this. Okay. And then I'm going to have this just sitting through here. And then we're going to just take the faces here. Got them all. Okay. And we're going to pull that in. And we're going to pull that in. Pull that through the model. Delete it. Vertex, select all, select all. We're gonna merge that guy, threshold. All right, so with barrels, they're never like perfectly flat on the front. They're usually kind of like beveled. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of a bevel. And mesh tools, insert edge loop. That kind of makes our barrel. We don't really have to deal with anything else there. Okay, so there we go. Barrel's in there. That's awesome. So now we just need to uh, kind of tidy this up and edge loop it real quick. So show, isolate, view selected. So if I smooth this, I can see some of the areas where I'm needing some support. So let's see, mesh tools, insert edge loop. And you know what I'm gonna do? Not that I wanna do this, but I'm gonna cut it in half one more time, just so I don't have to repeat this process twice. Okay. All right, so mesh tools, insert edge loop tool. We're just gonna add the support we need to create the, to kind of retain that depth. So one of the bigger parts here is gonna be adding this. And then that creates a small issue. Okay, so I'm not really sure what happened, but Windows decided I didn't need a microphone anymore. So as you work through this process, we're gonna go through adding edge loops and using the multi-cut tool to finish off edge loops that maybe aren't connecting properly. You're gonna to wanna to spend some time to make sure that everything is lining up properly and creating quads, and you wanna make sure you don't have any loopbacks throughout your model. The loopbacks themselves, you'll have to figure out how to kind of correct if you are seeing them. There's a couple in this video that I run across and I do actually spend some time correcting them. It's just gonna be dependent on how your model is turning out throughout this process of working with me. If you do have issues, please leave me a comment. I will do as best as I can to answer them. But as far as the rest of this video, go ahead and follow along. I'm gonna tune in with a voiceover where I need to, but um, just keep an eye on what I'm doing and enjoy the music.
All right, so in this area, I noticed that I was having some issues with uh, some of the pins. I'm going to go through and correct some of these problems. The faces themselves were stretching too much, causing a lot of issues with linking. And I wanted to make sure it just looked like it was smoothed out better. So I go through and I delete most of the faces surrounding the bottom pin to create new geometry and just really kind of smooth everything out and mesh it well. This process is probably going to have to be done if you did follow along with the tutorial but I wanted to make sure that this was added in there because it's an important step to make sure that your edge flow is still working and everything else with the model is still functioning properly.
One of the areas that I found the most difficult was the site. Uh, there were a lot of problems that were created early on because I extruded it instead of making it its own separate piece. So because of that, I'm going to end up tearing the site off and rebuilding it entirely. This process really kind of helped correct a lot of problems with the original edge flow. It still did create some issues with edge loops running through it, but I was able to correct them enough to where we fixed the loopback issue. So when you're doing this, just pay attention to what you're doing. Make sure that when you're creating your objects, you're actually getting the quads that you're desired and making sure you're just falling through and, and ensuring that all of your edge loops are actually flowing properly.
The barrel was one of those last areas that got a little messed up and needed some work, so I'm just going through here and making sure that I use circular eyes to bring the barrel back to a position. And the way I'm using this is I'm only selecting the edge loop, uh, the outermost edge loop, and using that to kind of pull it in and pull it together. It does create a couple problems, and this does require a little bit of manual manipulation, but it's going to kind of help correct the issue. Then I end up scaling the barrel just to cover up the hole because in all reality, we're not gonna really necessarily care about seeing the gap around the barrel. Uh, I want it to be kind of a flush mount because if this were a manufactured piece, that's how it would be.
I'm sorry for the audio mishap, but I would like to thank you for watching the tutorial. I hope you were able to gain what you needed out of this. And if not, you can always ask me questions in the comments. Keep an eye out for the next one as we will continue working on the grip as well as the trigger and any other smaller details. There will be one more accessory modeling video after that. And then we'll start deep diving into UV mapping as well as texturing and working in Substance Painter. At the UV point, you can skip the tutorial if you only plan on 3D printing this. But as always, thank you so much for watching. And if you made it to this part of the video, please make sure that you like and subscribe because it does help my channel grow. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one.